all today i am going to talk about measures of national income national income of a country is the total value of all final goods and services produced in the country in a particular period of time usually one year the growth of national income helps to know the progress of the country in it we are going to understand measures of national income gdp gnp nnp nnp at factor cost then pi and dp now we'll study it in detail number 1 gross domestic product here the catch word is a domestic it refers to the geographical area gross domestic product is the total value of all the final goods and services produced within the boundary of the country during a given period of time generally one year here the produce of resident citizens as well as foreign nationals who reside within that geographical boundary is considered take an example there are 40 crore indians who earn a 400 crore in indian territory and there are 1 crore foreigners who earn 10 crore in indian territory and send the money to their respective country at the same time there are 2 crore indians living abroad who earn 40 crores and send the money to india the gdp is only 410 crores because here we include the income earned in the indian territory that is 400 crores earned by indians and 10 crores earned by foreigners now the second term gross national product gnp here the catch word is national it refers to all the citizens of the country gross national product is the total value of all the output or production of final goods and services during a given period of time generally one year in this case the income of all the resident and non resident citizens of a country is included whereas the income of foreign nationals who reside within the geographical boundary of the country is excluded this can be calculated from the gdp gnp is equal to gnp is equal to gdp plus export minus import take the same example cited in gdp the 440 crores earned by indians abroad and sent or remitted to india is export and 10 crores income earned and sent remitted by foreigners to their respective country is import so the gnp is 440 that is 440 crores here the income earned by foreigners in india is excluded and income earned by indians abroad is included finally gnp contains the income earned by indians both in indian territory and abroad only now the third term national product and in it will consider net national product net national product is arrived after deducting depreciation from gross national product depreciation means wear and tear of goods produced this deduction is done because a part of current produce goes to replace the depreciated parts of the products already produced this part does not add value to current year's total produce it is used to keep the products already produced intact so it is deducted and therefore nnp is equal to gnp minus a depreciation here net national product is calculated with market price the market price includes 
indirect taxes and excludes subsidies that are made to produce goods and services the market price is less than the cost by the amount of subsidies so subsidies are deducted to arrive at market price for example the cost of production of a product is 100 if government gives a subsidy of 20 the price of product will be reduced by 20 that is 80 this is called nnp at market price now nnp at factor cost what is this about the nnp at factor cost calculates national income only on the basis of cost incurred to produce the goods and services this cost is the payment made to the factors of production the factors of production are land labor capital and entrepreneur for this the indirect tax is deducted from nnp at market price then the subsidies given to produce goods and services are added in fact nnp at factor cost we use the term national income thank you very much